Welcome to Arcade Sunday. Today I'm going to be covering some more deferred maintenance on this machine right here. It's Arcade Sunday. So once again find myself in the predicament where this machine just is doing weird things. Um, basically it's been freezing. Load a game up and uh, after trying a second game or we'll try to save a high score I think will just freeze up. So I've uh, removed the PC again from here and uh, we're going to look at it on the bench, see what we can figure out. Okay, so here's the uh, machine as it stands. You know, this basically powers the marquee light. I mean to put a plug on here one day, maybe today's the day. In any event, it's a basic machine, just a little uh, laptop hard drive, um, ATR HD55. Zero and a very old uh, gigabyte motherboard. I think it's uh, like an i3. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and uh, troubleshoot it and see what I can figure out here. This is more of a PC troubleshooting video than a arcade game related video, but uh, for me, it's basically the same thing. I'm going to start by removing the hard disk. I know I recently uh, put this hard disk in, so I don't really think it's a problem here. Um, I've got a feeling that it's something to do with either it's memory related or video card related. Again, I don't think it's a video card because you always get a picture. So, memory, motherboard, CPU fault, or maybe it is the hard drive, it's a problem still. So, get uh, VGA onto here. Okay, seeing that the hard disk is uh, not connected currently, it's obviously not going to start uh, anything up. But uh, yeah, let's just see what does happen. I'll put you up onto the screen here yeah, and see what we can see. Okay, so so far so good. It's kind of booting up. I suppose I should get a keyboard so I can do some further troubleshooting. Yeah, clearly boot failure because I took the disk out. So obviously there's no boot disk. And yeah, that is immediately odd. Um, won't detect my keyboard. It's not so good. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, replaced um, the memory module in this machine. I'm going to basically plug it all back in and uh, just give it a test and see what happens. Uh, the test is to load something and then um, wait a bit and then escape and load something else. Okay, so this is a casual game. I'm not really playing well. I just want to just establish whether things are working or not. Escape the game. Okay, so so far it's loaded the second game. I'm gonna to have to leave this uh, as, as a test and come back uh, in a little while. So I thought while the machine was all in pieces, I decided to take off uh, the plexi over there and uh, give it a clean up, and then also. Uh, the joystick, um, I just noticed that uh, up and down weren't working too well for some reason, sticking slightly on up when I was playing Donkey Kong as a test just now. Um, this brings me to another point. So anyway, but I just cleaned those up using my good old uh, paper trick. You basically stick paper between the two leaves, you hold it down and you pull the paper up and you get all this nice uh, dirt that comes off. Um, so yeah, it was a bit on the dirty side. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it actually plays. While I'm here though, uh, I thought I would address this problem here. It might not look obvious, but what is that on the floor? This is actually the uh, other part of the control panel. <laughs> it's actually uh, cracked. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it was Donkey Kong who caused it. Ah, oh, good as new. I'm just going to reinstall this control panel quickly and just test uh, the control again. Bar one. Anyway, control seems to play uh, pretty good now, so I'm just going to clean up that uh, plexi and reassemble this control panel and then uh, carry on testing the machine part. Oh, 
This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's frozen. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, put in another motherboard that's making me annoyed. Okay, so that uh, tells me it has started up correctly. So far it says out of range over there, if you can't read it, 15.7 kilohertz. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna power this thing off, return it to the cabinet and uh, test again, I guess. All right, so I went ahead and uh, reinstalled the machine back into this cabinet. And I'm just gonna do the same kind of testing, the same sort of time, timed testing as last time and hopefully we have better results. Uh, as accompaniment, I've got some twin coba spinning up in the corner here, uh, just for some nice background audio. No ways. Okay, so here's the, the card that I believe is faulty, the R5231 gig. PCIe card. Since I've replaced this with a very similar model by Asus, um, the problem seems to have gone away. What I did notice when I took this card out, it was extremely hot. Um, it's probably time for some new thermal paste and possibly even add a fan onto here. It's quite easy to do that, so I'll definitely try that in the future. So a pretty entry level video card, but perfect for Groovy Arcade. Okay, so it's been uh, over half an hour and this game is still running without fault, so I actually believe it was uh, the video card. Um, I've replaced it, I had one on stock, so yeah, looks like it's working, I'm very happy. Uh, but again, uh, Sunday will be the test to see if it uh, works throughout the whole evening. And thanks for watching this episode of Arcade Sunday, I hope you learned something. And as always, have a great Arcade Gaming Week. Arcade Sunday out.